What's up guys, it's Will here, um, and I have to apologise, um, I can't bring you a video this year for Christmas, I lost all the footage that was on my phone, um, it all got corrupted, so I'm just going to talk over some photos um, in a minute when we get to my December shots, uh, I'd basically... This is the only footage that I managed to keep was uh, of this white Boba Fett and I was just taking pictures of that figure because it contrasts nicely with the background I was using. Um, so this is my first shot, this was, I was talking about the Spider-Man figures um, that had come out this year, the Miguel O'Hara and the Miles Morales and while I enjoyed them figures I do feel like they left a lot to be desired. Don't get me wrong, they still are great figures, but I just think we've had better range from Spider-Man figures in the past. Right, so this shot was supposed to actually be my Halloween shot from October, but then I got the figure really late, um, and I do really like this guy. He definitely is going in my top 10 for uh, this year. Um, people wonder why I rate this figure so highly, but not the DC figures. And I just feel like because these are Todd's babies, um, he just he puts all his effort into this line. Um, and I'd like to see him do the same with DC figures. Right, so I think this is maybe the first thing I did this month. Um, and it's my uh, Marvel Legends display, basically, just to showcase Ultron. Um, I was really impressed with that figure this year. There's been some great ones. Um, from Hasbro for Marvel Legends, but the Ultron really did it for me. I'm using that really horrid uh, cardboard display that I usually use there, um, and then just random stuff on the table to make it look like he's building a body. Um, I've got a few different lights going on. Thor and Captain America are in the back there, but I don't actually think you can see Thor. I'm seriously considering putting the Fair Doctor on my list for the top 20 of this year um, what character lack in articulation they certainly make up for with the detail in their paint and their QC um, I'm really impressed with this Five Doctors set and I, uh, I was posing that Cyberman for way longer than um, I probably should have done to be honest with you but it's just a really really nice set all three of the figures um, and the likeness to John Pertwee on the third Doctor is amazing. Well, listen, I was going to put William Hartnell on the, on the list anyway because I was impressed with that figure, but I love the third Doctor. Um, he's one of my favourites, so... And then speaking of action figures of the year, um, I have not stopped playing with this um, deluxe Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi, and... Here's the thing, yeah, we paid a bit more for it, should we have? I don't know, I don't really care about that stuff. Um, I just really, really like this Boba Fett figure. I think he's done really well. Um, I can't wait for the show that's coming up soon. Um, and Mandalorian Season 3. Bo-Katan was a sick figure this year. Yeah, just, just excellent, man. Okay, so these were my last shots um, for December. Um, he's supposed to depict the Power Rangers on Christmas Day. Um, what I had done is used those mini toys from those mini toy box brands. Um, as you can see, the Red Rangers holding a miniature Red Power Ranger. I think um, the Green Rangers holding a Hot Wheels car. Uh, the Pink Rangers holding a My Little Pony. Um, and the Yellow Rangers holding Monopoly. The Blue Ranger has that weird fucking cat caterpillar thing and then just some stuff in front of him. I don't know, maybe I was, they were a bit before my time, them figures. But then the Black Ranger, uh, he's just playing with some micro machines, Bumblebee and Prowl. But it's, yeah, you can see Alpha in the back as well. It's just like the Power Rangers getting rad Christmas presents uh, off Zordon on Christmas Day. Oh, and there's some home bargains bags in there. I just thought that'd be funny because I work at home bargains. Um, you hang them on your Christmas tree. Um, and I just thought it'd be a laugh to stick them in there. Anyway, guys, I hope you've managed to enjoy this video a little bit. Um, if you did, leave me a like. Subscribe, look out for my 
top 10 figures of 2020. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Have a Merry Christmas.